The Brahmanas, Sanskrit Brahmanam Brahmanam, are a collection of ancient Indian texts with commentaries on the hymns of the four Vedas. They are a layer or category of Vedic Sanskrit texts embedded within each Veda, and form a part of the Hindu Sruti literature. They are primarily a digest incorporating myths, legends, the explanation of Vedic rituals, and in some cases speculations about natural phenomena or philosophy. The Brahmanas are particularly noted for their instructions on the proper performance of rituals, as well as explain the original symbolic meanings translated to words and ritual actions in the main text. Brahmanas lack a homogeneous structure across the different Vedas, with some containing chapters that constitute Aranyakas or Upanishads in their own right. Each Vedic Shaka school has its own Brahmana. Numerous Brahmana texts existed in ancient India, many of which have been lost. A total of 19 Brahmanas are extant at least in their entirety. The dating of the final codification of the Brahmanas and associated Vedic texts is controversial, which occurred after centuries of verbal transmission. The oldest is dated to about 900 BCE, while the youngest Brahmanas such as the Shatapatha Brahmana, were complete by about 700 BCE. According to Jan Gonda, the final codification of the four Vedas, Brahmanas, Aranyakas and early Upanishads took place in pre-Buddhist times ca. 600 BCE. Topic. Discussion The Brahmana are a layer of texts in Vedic Sanskrit embedded within each Veda, and form a part of the Sruti literature of Hinduism. They are primarily a digest incorporating mythology and Vedic rituals and in some cases speculations about natural phenomena or philosophy. <laughs> mythology and rituals The Brahmanas layer of Vedic literature contain the exposition of the Vedic rites and rituals. For example, the first chapter of the Chandogya Brahmana, one of the oldest Brahmanas, includes eight suktas hymns for the ceremony of marriage and rituals at the birth of a child. The first hymn is a recitation that accompanies offering a yajna oblation to deity Agni fire on the occasion of a marriage, and the hymn prays for prosperity of the couple getting married. The second hymn wishes for their long life, kind relatives, and a numerous progeny. The third hymn is a mutual marriage pledge, between the bride and groom, by which the two bind themselves to each other, as follows excerpt. The next two hymns of the first chapter of the Chandogya Brahmana invoke deities Agni, Vayu, Kandramas, and Surya to bless the couple and ensure healthful progeny. The sixth through last hymn of the first chapter in Chandogya Brahmana are not marriage related, but related to hymns that go with ritual celebrations on the birth of a child, and wishes for health, wealth, and prosperity with a profusion of milch cows and artha. The Brahmanas are particularly noted for their instructions on the proper performance of rituals, as well as explain the symbolic importance of sacred words and ritual actions in the main text. These instructions insist on exact pronunciation accent, chandas, chanda meters, precise pitch, with coordinated movement of hand and fingers, that is, perfect delivery. Satipatha Brahmana, for example, states that verbal perfection made a mantra infallible, while one mistake made it powerless. Scholars suggest that this orthological perfection preserved Vedas in an age when writing technology was not in vogue, and the voluminous collection of Vedic knowledge were taught to and memorized by dedicated students through Svadhyaya, then remembered and verbally transmitted from one generation to the next. Topic: <laughs> Speculations about nature and philosophy. The Brahmanas are a complex layer of texts within the Vedas. Some embed speculations about natural phenomena such as sunrise and sunset. For example, section 3.44 of the Itareya Brahmana speculates whether sun really rises or sets. The sun does never rise nor set. When people think the sun is setting it is not so. For after having arrived at the end of the day, it makes itself produce two opposite effects, making night to what is below and day to what is on the other side. 
When they believe it rises in the morning this supposed rising is thus to be accounted for. Having reached the end of the night, it makes itself produce two opposite effects, making day to what is below and night to what is on the other side. The Panchavimsha Brahmana speculates on rivers starting in mountains, fed by snow and rain, flowing over the ground and underground, both emptying into the sea. These speculations, however, are in the context of rituals. Each Vedic Shaka school has its own Brahmana, many of which have been lost. A total of 19 Brahmanas are extant at least in their entirety, two associated with the Rigveda, six with the Yajurveda, ten with the Samaveda and one with the Atharvaveda. Additionally, there are a handful of fragmentarily preserved texts. They vary greatly in length. The addition of the Shatapatha Brahmana fills five volumes of the sacred books of the East. The Brahmanas were seminal in the development of later Indian thought and scholarship, including Hindu philosophy, predecessors of Vedanta, law, astronomy, geometry, linguistics, Panini, the concept of karma, or the stages in life such as Brahmakaya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and eventually, Sannyasa. Brahmanas also lack a homogeneous structure across the different Vedas, with some containing sections that are Aranyakas or Upanishads in their own right. The Shathapatha Brahmana discusses ontological and soteriological questions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Language and Chronology. The language of the Brahmanas is a separate stage of Vedic Sanskrit, younger than the text of the Samhitas, the mantra texts of the Vedas proper, CA 1000 BCE, but for the most part are older than the text of the sutras. As with the whole of Vedic literature, no dating more precise than within a few centuries is possible. The Brahmanas as a whole are generally placed in the first half of the first millennium BCE, with the oldest parts perhaps dating to about 900 BCE, and the youngest Brahmanas such as the Shatapatha Brahmana, may date to the 7th or 6th century BCE. According to Jan Gonda, the final codification of the four Vedas, Brahmanas, Aranyakas and early Upanishads took place in pre-Buddhist times ca. 600 BCE. Erdozi suggests that the later Brahmanas were composed during a period of urbanization and considerable social change. This period also saw significant developments in mathematics, geometry, biology and grammar. <laughs> <laughs> List of Brahmanas Each Brahmana is associated with one of the four Vedas, and within the tradition of that Veda with a particular shaka or school. Rigveda Shakala Shaka Itareya Brahmana, rarely also known as Ashvalyana Brahmana AB. It consists of 40 adhyayas lessons, chapters, dealing with soma sacrifice, and in particular the fire sacrifice ritual. Parts of the Itareya Brahmana reads like an Aranyaka. Bashkala or Iksvakas Shaka unclear Kaushataki Brahmana also called Sankhyana Brahmana KB, Sankhb. It consists of 30 chapters, the first six of which are dedicated to food sacrifice, and the remaining to soma sacrifice in a manner matching the Itareya Brahmana. Keith has published his translation of Itareya Brahmana, and the Kaushataki Brahmana. <laughs> Samaveda Kauthuma and Ranayaniya Shakas Tandya Mahabrahmana or Panchavimsha Brahmana, Pankavimsa Brahmana PB, is the principal Brahmana of both the Kauthuma and Ranayaniya Shakas. This is one of the oldest Brahmanas and includes 25 books. It is notable for its important ancient legends and Vratyastomas. Sadvimsha Brahmana, Sadvimsa Brahmana Sadvibhi, is considered as an appendix to the Panchavimsha Brahmana and its 26 Prapathaka. Samavidana Brahmana, and the following Samaveda Brahmanas are in sutra style, it comprises three prapathakas. Ashya Brahmana is an index to the hymns of Samaveda. 
Devatadhyaya or Daivata Brahmana comprises three khandas, having 26, 11 and 25 khandikas respectively. Chandogya Brahmana is divided into ten prapathakas chapters. Its first two prapathakas chapters form the mantra Brahmana MB, and each of them is divided into eight khandas sections. Prapathakas 3 to 10 form the Chandogya Upanishad. Samhitopanishad Brahmana has a single prapathaka chapter divided into five khandas sections. Vamsa Brahmana consists of one short chapter, detailing successions of teachers and disciples. Jaiminiya Shaka Jaiminiya Brahmana JB is the principal Brahmana of the Jaiminiya Shaka, divided into three khandas sections. One of the oldest Brahmanas, older than Tanja Mahabramana, but only fragments of manuscript have survived. Jaiminiya Ashiya Brahmana is also an index to the hymns of Samaveda, belonging to the Jaiminiya Shaka. Jaiminiya Upanishad Brahmana Jub, also known as Talavakara Upanishad Brahmana, is to some extent parallel to the Chandogya Upanishad, but older. Yajurveda Topic Krishna Yajurveda In the Krishna Yajurveda, Brahmana style texts are integrated in the Samhitas, they are older than the Brahmanas proper. Maitrayani Samhita MS and an Aranyaka equals accented Maitrayaniya Upanishad. Karaka Katha Samhita KS The Katha school has an additional fragmentary Brahmana Kathbi and Aranyaka Katha Kapasthalakatha Samhita KPS and a few small fragments of its Brahmana Taittiriya Samhita TS In addition to the Brahmana style portions of the Samhita the Taittiriya school has an additional Taittiriya Brahmana TB and Aranyaka Ta as well as the late Vedic Vardula Anvakyana BR it includes a description of symbolic sacrifices, where meditation substitutes an actual sacrifice. <laughs> Shukla Yajurveda Madhyandina Shaka Shatapatha Brahmana, Madhyandina Recension SBM, Kanva Shaka Shatapatha Brahmana, Kanva Recension SBK, the Satapatha Brahmana consists of a hundred Adyayas chapters, and is the most cited and famous among the Brahmanas canon of texts. Much of the text is commentaries on Vedic rituals, such as the preparation of the fire altar. It also includes Upanayana, a ceremony that marked the start of Brahmacharya student stage of life, as well as the Vedic era recitation practice of Svadhyaya. The text describes procedures for other important Hindu rituals such as a funeral ceremony. The old and famous Bradaranyaka Upanishad form the closing chapters of Satipatha Brahmana. Atharvaveda Shornaka and Pipalada Shakas the very late Gopatha Brahmana probably was the Aranyaka of the Pipaladins whose Brahmana is lost. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>